You don't give birth to time, neither are you its creator. Time management is a myth. You are the manager of events within the duration that you have. And the most powerful of it is the now. That's one of the quotes that I came up with and I just posted out there on social media. In the episodes, we're discussing the importance of maximizing our moments, the importance of maximizing our days so that they can be the most productive days of our lives. The most important thing we have, the most important resource we have, it is time. And so I want us to see what are the concepts and the principles we can work with in relation to being productive with the time that we have, which is today, which is the day that we have today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namalek. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. When you are told to count your blessings, do you know what you're going to do? You're going to count blessings such like family, relationships, possessions, let's say a car, a house, a piece of land, some real estate. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. You're going to name your job. You're going to name your money, your reserves. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. You're going to come up with things that you can see, you can feel, you can touch. Let me tell you, a big percentage of people, in fact, nearly 100% of people, will not mention that today, the day itself, is a blessing. We need to learn that today is the most important thing that even can contribute to the blessings that we're thinking about. That everything you mention, everything you name to be a real blessing, something that can be touched, can be seen, was made during the day or was made in life in the days that you were given so every day was sent out and you did something with the day and at the end of the day it created something and then created something in a process and at the end of the day you ended up with whatever it is that you're calling a blessing but let me tell you this that even if i asked you name your blessings count them one by one and you did not have a car you did not have a house, you did not have relationships, but you had today, you are blessed to be alive. There's got to be a reason as to why you and I are breathing in and breathing out today, and we are alive today for a reason and for a purpose. And that, ma- that means that today is a blessing for us. That psyche, that kind of thinking, that school of thought, needs to start being embedded in our lives because one of the most forgotten blessings of this world is the day. Because the day is going to roll out just like yesterday did and the previous day did, we take it so much for granted because it's in abundance. It's weird we think that our days are in abundance and anytime something is in abundance, it is neglected. It is taken for granted. We become so familiar with it. Our familiarity with the days of our lives breeds contempt. And we have this illusion that we're going to be alive for a long period of time. And like I said yesterday in the episode, you think that when people mention about death, it's someone else's death, someone else's family experiencing death. Even if it's death in your family, think about your own other people. But you don't think about yourself dying. Mortality is not something that we 
like to discuss but i found out that every time you look at mortality in the face every time you look at life in the face as if it's your last day something beautiful comes out of it this is what steve jobs said in one of the most quoted speeches this world by steve jobs i think he was doing a commencement speech at stanford some years back he said something very extremely powerful and it connected to his productivity and his work ethic but you know his work ethic was connected to his mortality the realization that he is dying he, he said this remembering that i'll be dead soon is the most important tool i've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life now listen i'm, I'm going to stop there for a minute he remembers that he's going to die soon and it's a reality because the disease that is wasting him away is already in his body so mortality is something that is real to him therefore he treats each day importantly if you know that you're going to die in 24 hours 48 hours and so on and so forth and you 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 perfect there's nothing wrong you're not sick the way you live those 48 hours is going to matter a lot it's going to teach you a lot in fact when we're teaching people about purpose we teach them to consider mortality to consider death and to look at their life as if it's going to end and start considering what will be the priorities what will be the things that will matter the most to them and that's why we become productive in our lives but when we sit back and we think we've got all the years in our lives ahead of us we have 200 years to live in fact even if you have 60 you think i am very young i'm not going to get to 60 by the way it's it's very illusionary when you're a young boy of 17 years of age you think you start looking at 40 years 40 year olds and you're thinking they are old these guys are so old and when you when you get to 40 you still think you're young and you're looking at some guys who are 70 and you're thinking they are old huh and so you're thinking that the guys at 70 are the ones who should be urgent and you at 40 you meanwhile when you are at 17 you are thinking the guys at 40 are old so it's illusionary it just keeps going my point is that we need to consider our mortality times are running days are going and the worst we do is to take today for granted to take today as if it's going to come and by the way it comes again tomorrow meanwhile this day that we have today has been wasted because tomorrow is a promise and tomorrow is going to come and when tomorrow comes it becomes like today we waste it we become so familiar with it to take it for granted we have contempt with it and we waste it because tomorrow is going to come and then when tomorrow comes it's today once again it's a vicious cycle and we keep wasting our productive days because we think we are eternal we have that illusion that death is not uh, for us death is for somebody else somebody else is going to die no 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 me me i'm going to die when i'm old at 100 in a peaceful way and therefore we take today for granted so steve jobs says that remembering that i'll be dead soon is the most important tool i've ever encountered to help me to make the big choices in life he says almost everything all external expectations all pride all fear all embarrassment or failure these things just fall away in the face of death living only what is truly important That's the kind of mindset that I want us to have even as we're discussing in this episode. The kind of mindset that today is important. Today did you hug your wife? Did you kiss your wife? Did you kiss your children? Did you say hi to them? Did you do the most important things like Steve Jobs is saying saying that these things just fall away the things that we think are important, things that we engage ourselves in. They are not as critical and he says that these things just fall away in the face of death living only what is truly important but you see you can't come to this level of urgency if you don't consider that today is important and the way you're going to consider today is important is the realization that you are a mortal human being you're going to die at one point in time you're going to waste away at one point in time and what's going to be left of your life So remembering that you're going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose that's Steve Jobs talking. He says that you are already naked. There is no reason to follow your heart. He says no one wants to die, even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. And yet death is the destination we all share. No one has ever escaped it and that is how it should be because death is very likely the single best invention in life. Wow, it's life's change agent. It clears out the old to make a way for the new. That's Steve Jobs talking about 
death and mortality and this man went and, and he did wonders in this world because he was one of the motivators of his life the agent of motivation in his life was death that i'm going to get out of this life at some point in time i'm discussing in this episode the need for us to consider our days moses in the bible i think in psalm 100 he says teach us to number our days our days are numbered in fact there's a scripture that says all our days the days of our lives they were written in god's book before any one of them came to pass our days are counted they are numbered so today if i'm wasted it it's already counted i mean it's already been provided for for me to live today and the only thing i can do is to make the most out of it because the days are numbered they are counted already they are predetermined they are set aside and there is you know debates that can go on and on and people will say okay why is it that some people die at three years of age and some people die at 17 and so on and so forth listen let me tell you this at the end of the day probably again people normally go to their graves earlier than than expected than the days that were been counted but then there are others who even dying at 30 years of age every day that they were alive counted so much so that even at 30 if they die at 33 they die this is no big deal they are finished in fact they say i have finished that which i've been sent to do you see people dying at 100 they're still waiting i mean they are not finished in doing the things that they're supposed to do because the days were being wasted you're waking up in the day and you're thinking tomorrow is gonna come and you waste today in things that you're not supposed to be doing and becomes a vicious cycle and the vicious cycle continues and continues and continues let me tell you something the most important resource you can go home together today with is today, the day itself, the 24 hours you've been given, the 12 hours of the day and the 12 hours of the night. Because it is, in, it is during that moment, the most potent moment in life, the most powerful moment in life is the now. It is in the now that you can make changes. It is in the now that you can make decisions. It is in the now that you can do something. You cannot do something tomorrow because you're not there. You cannot do something yesterday because it's gone. And therefore we need to have this inculcated in our spirits and in our minds, this idea of urgency in our lives. I'm going to end by reading Steve Jobs once again. And tomorrow we're going to pick it up. He says that remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me to make big choices in life. Almost everything all external expectations, all the pride, all the fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you're going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. No one wants to die. Even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. And yet, death is the destination we all share. No one has ever escaped it and that's how it should be because death is very likely the single best invention of life. It's life's change agent. It clears out the old to make way for the new. If you know those things and they're embedded in your spirit, every day you live in your life is going to matter. It's going to be maximized. So we're going to continue talking about these things in the next episode where we're talking about how we can maximize the day for productivity. There is nothing we came on earth to do other than productivity. You can take that to the bank. Tell me anything else that's there other than productivity. Nothing. And productivity is connected to two things. It's connected to our purpose, the reason as to why we're here in the first place, and it's connected on the other end to our resilience. The idea of rising up even when we go wrong. The idea that we are only human. The idea that we are not gods. And we can go through this and go through that, but we rise up once again to go for it. Tomorrow we we'll continue discussing this, but until then, bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University. 
found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.